Hey everybody, this is Technoli, and we've got a problem. We got an issue. Big Sur, the new version of Big Sur, 11.1. Proper tree doesn't work. Are you guys having this problem? Watch. I open this up, and do you get this error like everybody else? So, I'm going to show you how to fix that or how we can get around it, okay? So, let's get started with this. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is go over to the web and type in Python. Okay. And you'll come up to this page and go to Downloads. And let's download the newest release. Okay. So, let's close this out and we'll go over here to our Downloads. And let's just install this, Python. Just do what it says, agree, install, put in your password, blah, blah, blah. Now once this is done, we can move on to the next thing that we need to do to get this to work. Now this is my solution. There may be other solutions out there, but it's the one that worked for me. Okay, and yeah, we'll keep it for now. While this is open right here, go ahead and double click on update shell profile dot command. Okay, just go ahead and do that. And that's in the Python uh, folder that will pop up when you install it. Okay, once we're done with that, then in the description below, I'm going to have a link to this website to do a couple of more things. Okay, so what the problem is, is PropertTree is looking for Python 3, the new version, okay? But if we go over here to Terminal, and we put in Python version, just copy this over, and paste it in there. We're running 2.7.16. It wants the new version, the 3, okay? So what I've had to do, and this works well, is just go to this web page and click on this link, copy this, go back to Terminal, right-click and paste it in there, and just hit Enter. Put in your password. And then when it gets to this point, hit return, and it's going to start installing. This complete install takes mm, probably 20 minutes. When it gets to downloading command line tools for Xcode, go ahead and hit enter. And then before you know it, it'll start installing some more stuff. Okay. I'll come back when this gets closer to the end of it. Okay, there you can see it says installing command line tools for Xcode. Okay, we'll wait till it gets to the next point. Okay, now it's moving on to this stage of the process. You can see it's downloading and installing Homebrew. Now when it gets to this area, this takes quite a bit of time to download, uh, depending on your internet speed, I guess. But uh, we'll come back when this gets closer to the end. It's only at 3% right now. Wow, 35%. I feel like I'm on a dial-up network. Uh, I think it's the site that's feeding us this file. It's just slow, but uh, it'll get through. We'll come back. All right, guys, coming down here to this. Let's see what it does now. Resolving. So it's just continuing to install all of its... Uh, objects and things like that all right let's see what happens next I'll show you here okay now we're done now let's go back to this web page and what we want to do is go ahead and 
let's grab this line and put it into here paste it into here hit enter and it's going to download and do some more things but it's much faster okay once we get to this point we want to go ahead and scroll on down on this page until you get this command and let's copy this and put it into terminal and then what we need to do is change the 7 to a 9 so go down here and we'll change that to a 9 and then go back and hit enter all right now if I check now to see what the Python version is let's see what it shows oh it still shows the old version all right let's quit terminal now let's go back into terminal and let's put in that line again and we see now it shows the newer version okay now let's quit terminal let's go over to the Technoli website and let's just go over here to downloads and you want to download the latest version of proper tree okay so we'll just grab this download it all right now let's go over here to downloads and let's try it and see if it works open allow and there we go so now it's working so I hope that helps everybody I'll show you that I can edit something and we'll just grab my EFI here on this computer all right We'll go back and open up the config.plist on this bad boy here. And there it is. So those are the steps that I used to get proper tree to work on Big Sur 11.1. I hope this helps you guys out. Please like if you like it. Please dislike if you don't like it. And please subscribe. Thanks so much, guys, and we'll see you on the next video.